What's good YouTube? Welcome back to my poker channel. I have some fun hands to review from a recent online home game, so thanks for tuning in. Ace is cracked. Threw it all in. Tens, king, aces. Where you did the flop though? Where did the flop? <laughs> Before we begin, unfortunately none of you guessed the correct answer for last week's mystery hand. A few of you were pretty close with your guess of king queen and ace king. You guys almost got it. The correct answer was ace queen. So nice try to all you guys over here. Hopefully you guys have better luck this time. That's all for the semantics. Let's get into the action. All right, we buy into the game for 20 bucks and just a couple hands in, we look down at pocket jacks under the gun. So with this good hand here, we bump it up to 90 and Money bags decides to make the call. Peach boy makes the call. The blinds fold and we go three ways to a flop of ace 5 10 with two spades. So not the best flop as there's an ace on the board and we have just pocket jacks. A lot of players like to call with all sorts of aces so we can easily be behind here. So it's a good spot to go for pot control. So we check and both the other players make the check. So we get to a turn, which is a 10 of spades. At this point, we're feeling pretty good about our hand because if one of the players had an ace, I think they would most likely bet the flop. It's still possible they have weak aces like ace two or ace three, but there's still a lot of hands we beat and we can now get value if they have some type of spade in their hand. So we throw out a small bet of 130 for protection and both of the players make the fold. So we'll take it down with our jacks. For the second hand, we look down at pocket fives on the button. There are three limps before it gets to us. And here, sitting with pocket fives, this hand plays great multi-way. However, it is also a great candidate to raise over the limpers as the limpers are pretty weak. But I have a feeling this pot's gonna go multi-way and I would rather try to flop a set and have a chance to stack one of the other five players. So we just limp behind. The small blind completes and big blind checks. So we go six ways to a flop of ace five queen with two spades. We hit our miracle card. There's the five. We got a set. Let's hope somebody has some type of ace or a spade flush draw so we can get a lot of the money in. The action checks around. And now onto us. We definitely want to throw out a value bet in this multi-way pot with our bottom set. So I make a bet of 70, which I think is a bit too small in retrospect. Since this is a limp pot, there's not much money in the middle yet, so we should really be betting big and trying to build the pot early. Anyway, only the basket of eggs here makes the call. So we go heads up to a turn, which is another ace. This is an awesome card because if he had some type of ace, they now have trips, but we improve to a full house, so we beat that. And if he has some type of spade flush draw, we're no longer afraid of him hitting the flush because our full house is going to beat that as well. Even better news, Basket of eggs decides to lead out into us for a dollar. So now onto us, we definitely want to raise. I decide to get tricky here and go for a very small raise for two reasons. One, if he has trip aces and we raise very small, it's likely that he'll re-raise us and then we can jam on top of him and get all the money in the middle. And two, if he does have some type of flush draw, I wanna give him a really good price to draw for the flush. That way, if he hits the flush, we can easily stack him with our full house. So we bump it up to just 285 and he quickly makes the call. The river is a three of hearts, which is a total brick. So when he checks to us, I decide to just pot it because at this point, if he has a missed draw like two spades, he's not going to call any bet. So I'm really just trying to target trip aces if he has them somehow. Uh, it's likely he doesn't because he only called our turn bet, but we got to go for it anyway. So we pot it and unfortunately he folds. So he probably just had some type of missed flush draw or straight draw like Jack-10. On to the third hand, which is the mystery hand for this video. As always, leave your guess to what my two cards are in the comments below. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel and you can be eligible to win that prize if you get the hand right. So good luck. There's a limp to us and here we bump it up to 110. So you already know I probably have a decent hand and it folds around to Moneybags, who makes the call. Small Blind makes the call, and the Basket of Eggs makes the call. 
so we go 4 ways to a flop of 10 3 ace rainbow. This is a pretty dry and disconnected flop. The ace is obviously very good for our range because we raised preflop. So when it checks to us, I decide to throw out a bet of 190, which is pretty small. It's usually good to fire out small C bets on these dry disconnected boards. So that's what we do. Money bags makes the call and big blind folds. So we go heads up to a turn, which is the four of diamonds. So now the backdoor flush draw gets there and we now throw out a bet of four. So a pretty small bet on the turn considering the pot is already 840 and our opponent folds. So we take down this pot. Onto the fourth hand where things start to get a little bit interesting. We're sitting here with ace queen offsuit on the button and there's a raise from under the gun. The peekaboo monkey decides to make the call and basket of eggs makes the call. Now onto us. So ace queen is a great hand to three bet, especially in position. However, the raise came from an early position player, so his range is probably going to be pretty strong. And in addition, this particular person is a very solid player, so I know he's going to be raising with a pretty strong range early position. He's not going to be in here, you know, just raising any ace or whatever. So we have to be a little bit cautious. And because of that, I decide to just make the call. We also have position, so I don't mind seeing a flop in position with ace queen. The big blind makes the call as well, and we go five ways to a flop, which is queen three ace with two clubs. We smash this board with top two pair, so absolutely amazing. And when it checks to the initial raiser, he throws out a bet of 257. It folds to us, and sitting here with top two pair, I'm just hoping he has a hand like ace king so we can get all the money. Also, there are club flush draws available, so I think this is a good spot to raise it up. So we bump it up to 594, big blind folds, and the other player makes the call. Onto the turn, which is a five of diamonds, a total brick. Nothing has changed on the flop. I'm still hoping he has a hand like ace king, so we can now stack off. So when he checks to us, that's what we do. We go all in. He decides to make the call, and I'll just play out the audio call from here. <laughs> all right, let's chop. <laughs> We're not I'll chopping, I don't think. Too. Uh, you got ace queen? Yeah. Dude. You have ace jack? Ace yeah. king? Uh, oh yeah. shit. A full house? No, he's just strong dead. Sorry Jimmy, bro. why did you go all in? You, you, you psyched the wrong <laughs> I was trying to be cheeky, I'm sorry. I, I'm not gonna lie. They ended up having ace jack for a good top pair, so we'll take this pot down with our two pair. On to the final hand, where we look down at the amazing pocket aces in the big blind. It starts off folding around, so sad to see that no one has anything, but we do have a limp, the button limps, and the small blind limps. On to us, we're not having any of that, we got aces, let's raise it up, we make it 160 to go, the first limper calls, second limper calls, and we go three ways to a flop of 8-10 king with two hearts. This is a pretty wet board, uh, it's quite connected and there's two hearts, so there are flush draws available straight draws like queen jack and nine seven available and also our opponent could easily have a king so let's look to try to get the money in with our aces so i throw out a bet on the larger side of 375 so i can set up a large turn bet the first player folds and the basket of eggs decides to make the call onto the turn which is a three of spades a total brick let's try to figure out what bet size to use so the opponent here only has 1370 behind, a little bit over the pot, so we definitely want to try to get the rest of his money. I think if we throw out a pretty sizable bet that's not all in, we can try to commit him with all of his draws and kings. So I make a bet of 705, and let's play out the audio call to see what the basket of eggs is thinking about. Can I call you? Uh, I can. <laughs> Crazy. Good luck. <laughs> Stop, I, love that, I love how that thought process turned out. Got ace king. Can I call? Uh, the Aces. Look at that. Uh oh. Oh no. Bro, did you hit? It? Did you? Uh oh. No. You did? Did you hit? You I, missed. I won't have a trade, bro. Ah, uh, sorry, bro. Oh. Not the best run out, but it turns out they only had nine seven for the open ended straight draw. So we'll scoop both boards with our pocket aces.
A little while later, we wrap up the session and call it a night. We bought into the game for 20 and we were out for 98.45, which is a profit of $78.45 or about seven Chipotle bowls. This equates to 341 big blinds over 100 hands as we played for about three hours. That's it for this one. As always, thanks for watching. Uh, stay safe out there and I'll catch you guys next week.